So since we are going to run our test in the maven command and we have to run the test in maven by calling the testng.xml file so we have to specify the testng.xml file somewhere in our palm.xml file as we discussed in our last video. So we are going to add the testng.xml file path within our maven surefire plugins configuration tag. So we are going to call something called as suite xml files and within that we have something called a suite xml file so i'm going to call that over here and then i need to specify the xml file path so basically the test.xml file that we're going to work with is this one so it is sitting under the source test java test.xml file so we're going to specify like this src test java and then test ng dot xml file so this is the path that we need to specify to run our xml file uh, along with the maven command so i'm going to save this code this time and uh, let's see if our selenium grid is running so we know that we have selenium uh, node running in one of the virtual machine i have and also in my current machine so we have the selenium grid setup over here so it's all good so this is one more uh, node that we have and this is another node in my uh, virtual machine. So now if I run the maven clean to clean all the uh, cores that we have and then I'm just going to compile because we did some code change from our last video by adding one more setting and then I'm going to do a verify goal so that it's going to run uh, the command for us. So you can see that it is running the, uh, it is going to identify the XML file. You can see that it has identified the XML file this time, the testng.xml file. And that's the reason it is showing us that running test suite, that is really, really sweet. So let's see what's happening. There you go. So these are the two nodes. So they are going to receive the command from the Selenium server. There we go. They got it. And you can see that there is one browser running in my local machine and there is one more browser running in the remote machine so this guy is running a test so he's going to create a new employee and you can see one test has already successfully completed in the remote machine and another local machine test has also successfully completed that is really really cool so you can see that two tests got passed here and now if I go back to my report that we have, which is nothing but the Cucumber report. So if I just right click and show in Explorer, let's go to the target. And you can see that we have a Cucumber report HTML and this folder. So we have two feature file this time. So I was told in the initial starting of the uh, section that while running multiple thread, the Cucumber HTML report has some problem generating the report. We'll quickly see what problem that we have. So if I just double click this time, you can see that. So we have two li features listed. One is for the employee over here for the employee test. And if I go back to the login, you can see it only shows the login features description, but not the steps at all. That's the problem which I was talking about. So while we run the test in parallel with the Cucumber HTML report, it's actually not showing all the steps in parallel it is executing. Just for one test it shows, but not for the another test. That's the real problem that I was talking about. While running in the multiple thread, it actually won't show what we are looking for. And this problem is currently raised and it is there in the GitHub. You can actually see and Google it around and understand why this is not working. The reason is because the author has not started to support the parallel execution at least as of now maybe in future if it is supported i'll create one more video to make this test running without any problem right so that's the great thing that we could still run the test in parallel using the testng.xml file from the maven command by just adding a very very simple code over here and then our whole framework is now currently supporting the selenium grid support which is really really cool so that's it guys this is the end of our section for running the Selenium test in parallel with Selenium Grid Setup. So once again, thank you very much for purchasing this course and have a great day.